Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the north for another episode of Miasma Chronicles. So at the end of the last episode, we got to the Gator Zone. Whatever that actually means, I guess we're about to find out. I've also had a bit of a mess around with my settings in the background, just to see if there was something I could do about a few of the visual-like stuff here and there we saw in the first episode. I also clocked it and noticed it when I was editing. But from what I've actually gathered, it seems that all that was because of the rain from what i could see like whilst i've been i quickly like saved it ran around and came back and then loaded the game again and it seems to now look pretty much fine but when it was absolutely chucking it down in the first episode it got a little bit ropey so maybe it was the rain i guess we'll see uh, i did have a mess with v-sync turning it on and off i didn't really see that much of a difference so just as a pointer out there for anyone playing on playing this on the PC. Let's have a gander around. Oh! Oh, Gator Zone's like a park? A park for alligators? Hmm. Does such a place exist? I assume it probably does somewhere out there in the bayou. Let's have a deke around, shall we? Um, let's see. What's that? I mean, I should have I should have known it was going to be plastic. If it's on the floor, it's probably plastic. I think plastic is the... seems to be... This version of scrap, I guess. There doesn't seem to be any other... Yeah, yeah. Of monetary gain. There we go. As well as other little collectibles here and there. As well as the relics of the past, evidently, like the joystick. Which we won't we won't talk about the joystick from the last episode. More scrap. More plastic. I know what I mean. Plastic is scrap, if you think about it. I guess we're not going down this way into Gator Zone. And I guess I can't jump down here as well. Can I jump? No, I cannot jump. Okay, so you can't traverse elevation by crouching or jumping and stuff. It is a little on the rails. Right, how does the miasma do to... Okay, it's holding a lot steadier than it was last episode. That's good. To say that I'm literally recording this almost 20 minutes after finishing the last episode, I'd say that's a pretty good sign. Oh, there's someone over there. Okay, let me have a peruse round outside of Gator Zone. And then uh, we'll see what it brings. I assume I I would be... You know what? I'm going to be really disappointed if there are no gators. More like X-Gator Zone. I thought that was a floating crocodile. Sorry, alligator. Don't call them crocodiles. That's a different thing entirely. The Bayou crowd is going to come at me for this episode alone. Oh, it's like a big mouth. Local fauna, mutate me twice as fast as it is. And you are... Well, let me let me root around here first, because I see loads of stuff on the floor. Plastic? Fantastic. I've never said it pl plastic is fantastic so many times in one day. But here we are. Pick it up as well. Did I see a different colour glowing down here? No, no, it must have been. It must have been something out there. Right, let's talk to this person and then uh I guess we'll go buy some tickets to the gator zone. Also gator zone. That's Entered my vocabulary more than I expected it to in my entire life. Baxter Conway. Baxter, you shouldn't be out here. The miasma's spreading. I need to find out why. Find out in town. It's bad news out here. You're not my dad, Elvis. You're my friend. We're still friends, right? Sure. This place is evil, Baxter. And you're too... Full of light. Is that a robot arm? I'm not full of light. Seriously, I don't want some creature dragging you back to its hole to like turn you into soup or some shit. Oh, that's sounds like you're sweet on me. Weirdly specific. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? Yeah. No, dude. What? It's cool. I <laughs> get it. Who has time for Wing friends man. when you're looking for family? Oh, bite me. You're my best friend, Baxter. I've just been busy, but we'll hang soon, I promise. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Screw bad news. I need some good news. You got me? Uh, well, nobody killed me today. Not yet. Wow, real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is... I know who I am. He's not wrong, but though. you're looking for someone to tell you who you are. Okay. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who you want to be. You choose. <laughs> wow, that's some deep shit, Baxter. I'm gonna ponder that. 
Miasma. My asthma's been acting weird. Yeah, it's turning it's turning the frogs into mutants. I don't wanna brag, but I am the greatest scientist in town. Only scientist in town. You don't get it. It's making monsters. We saw him murder the Vader family. What? Shit. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. Someone, something, is pissing it off. Maybe it's us. Maybe I was using the glove over and over as pissing it off. Just a thought, maybe. Anyway. Good seeing you, Elvis. Don't get lost out there. Elvis is also a very interesting choice of first name to say that there's only really one famous Elvis. Let's let's be serious here. Um, I can't really name another person called Elvis. I mean, feel free to let me know in the comments if there are more people out there called Elvis. I'd love to hear from you. Right, let's go into the alligator jaw. Gators are... Oh, oh shit. More frog monsters. Keep cool, little brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. That gives us the first move. That looks explosive. What if they see us? What is Guru? <laughs> Uh, a beacon of hope there. You can split up your group when near enemies. Yes. Split up members can be hidden on any cover position. While hidden, a shadow passive skill is applied, hiding your hero from the enemy. Spread out and find great positions for you engage in combat. Yep. This rings a bell. Now, do they have the little zones around them where they can see us? Ah, they do, but unlike Mutant Year Zero, where it was like a cone or a circle around the enemy... It's more like a little square thing. It's actually tiled. Okay, interesting, interesting. Going solo. You stay there, Diggs. I'll be right back after these, this interval. Originals filled these shelves with all kinds of things. That's a, that's a big gator, all right. Okay, so it's telling me, I think it's telling me to go to these, um... Yellow arrows is sort of like an example. Sort of like a tutorial. So I guess I'll follow it for, for now. Oh. Sneaky beaky. And now if I switch over to Diggs. The clanky robot ash cheeks clapping about. Hopefully not. Oh, he can't see me. Gotta be careful. Right. And now we play the ambush game. What do you think will happen if I shoot those fuel cans? It's exactly blamo, my fault. Blamo, bye bye, froggy. I'm all here for digs. Right. Well, I think it might just be time to blast. Blast that fuel canister. I also broke the game by doing that, apparently. 82%. <laughs> now, I could move. And it'll men just give me like a hundred percent. You know what? Let's do it. Step a little closer. Let me get a better look at your I do also have what's it called? Sprint and sprint and shoot, not run and gun. Sprint and shoot. Let's just blast this skull crusher now. See you never. Now just loses a scout who I assume might flank us a little bit. Ah! Shot me in the dick. Why would you shoot me in the dick? Right, hang on. Let's sprint and shoot then. So I can get there. What's the better shot? No, 50's not great. Come on, devil. Make your move. Bloody hell, that was that was sprinting. Jeez, Louise. That's 60, right. What have you got there? What's that? Is that just healing? Oh, that's Overwatch. Right. Okay, perfect. Well, what I can't, what I could do is let, let's let's try, try this out a bit. Go on, fifty fifty. Nice. So, how does Overwatch work in this game? Take all micro reaction shots in a selective area. Now, does it react to them just attacking, or is it just movement? I'll be on watch. Let's find out. I'm not sure if it was attacking or if it was moving. But it died. All right, nah, nice. All right, time to pick up literally everything. Let's go on an adventure around Gator Zone. That's not a gator, that's a velociraptor. 
you've got your standards a little bit mixed up here. That's also a Velociraptor. Hmm. Like, I... Okay. You're messing with two different crowds here. You don't want to upset the dinosaur crowd. They're ravenous. Is that... Now, this is the sort of thing they should have had in Jurassic Park. Not those, like, really cool Jeeps, but, like, an awfully designed Jeep with, like, a gator hat as, like, the helm. How awful would it be to drive around in that thing? Press tab to switch between heroes. Diggs? Oh, you can break stuff down. I mean, I thought he was going to run through it, but he just gave it a good backhand slap. Oh, cool. That's good to know. Plastic and... No surprise, plastic. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to stay as Diggs for a bit then, because it might be some stuff we can just, like, belt through. Where are we supposed to be going here? Well, that's the right way. Is this a dead end? That's a dead end. Okay, that's fine. Can I belt this as well? Don't mind if I do. Home of the Gator King. All right. That's another Medipod. Perfect. Are you actually injured, or did you, re did you recover after uh, you did not recover? Now, how much does a Medipod... It gives 80. There's not, point, no, not much point using it now, then. I just want to make sure that they, you definitely don't have to equip them by any means. It doesn't look like you do. I just wanted to make sure of that. I don't think it is a case. If I just went frag grenade... Yeah, okay, fine. Just wanted to make sure you had, didn't have to equip it to use it in combat. It looks like it's just accessible in combat. Fine with me. Man, this miasma do be everywhere. Oh, someone destroyed that truck. Is that a... It's, it's not zoomed out enough to know what dinosaur that is. I assume it's either a Brachiosaurus or a Diplodocus or a Brontosaurus. Although technically Brontosauruses don't exist. It's technically the Aptosaurus. But let's... A actually, let's, let's not get into it. Because we'll be here all day. And they all died 65 million years ago. So it doesn't matter. It, it actually really does matter. And also they didn't all die 65 million years ago. Some species died like 135 mil years ago in the... Jurassic or the Triassic period. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting too caught up in my own stuff again. See? This is what you're doing when you put dinosaurs and alligators in the same park and call it Gator Zone. Okay, there's something highlighted in this room. I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Two oh. bodies frozen in my asthma. They look super old. Calcified. You think they were originals? Yeah, one last hug before the collapse took their souls. Brings a tear to your eye. Mm. It's like the corpses that they found around Pompeii. And everyone was like, oh, they were together. And they were just best of friends hugging. Yeah, sure thing, scientists. Sure thing. What's this? Our happy place. Our happy place. Dear Diary, seven years ago, me and Goff Boy had our first date at Gator Zone. Weird place for a date, I know. But perfect for a pair of freaks like us. We come back here every year. On the anniversary of that first date, this is our happy place. But it feels like... This time might be our last time. With Marmar gone, our friends gone, the storm spreading, the park's empty. It's just us now, in the only place we have left. Now Goff Boy's coughing, and which is kind of funny because I actually had to put an edit there because I started coughing quite violently. <laughs> oh no, I am I Goff Boy? No. I'm still alive, mate. Okay, well, we now know the... ID, positive IDs of the victims. One of them being Goth Boy and one of them being assumingly Goth Girl? I don't know. Okay, I think I have looked at everything. There was, there did look like there was something up here, but I didn't see a ladder anywhere. I'm just gonna have a quick mosey around to see if I've just missed a ladder. There is definitely stuff up there. How the hell do I get up there? Oh wait, can I, cl can I climb up this? Ah! Who needs ladders when you have vines that can hold the size of digs? Good for you, digs. Nobody, don't let anyone tell you that you are too heavy. You are just a big boned robot. Actually, I hope you're not a big boned robot, because it would be terrifying to open up that robot body of yours and find that it's just a full skeleton in there. What is this? Mm, that's the good stuff. Sick. And yes, I will be using sick through this series a lot, because only because they use it, so it's technically accurate, all right? The Tactical Disc is a level 1 bouncer. That's 20 crit chance with a penalty of 10% hit chance per bounce. An experimental weapon from the mysterious Cron Labs. This Tactical Disc system has been patched to allow anybody to hold it without self-detonation. Great. I hate self-detonation. The launchable disc produces an audible humming when held close to the ear. I mean, yeah? 
So can I equip two things at once, right? Okay, well, I'll give it to Diggs. And I'll see what it does. It does look like it doesn't do as much damage. It has more range, but it only has one ammo as well. But with, this, with the name Bouncer, does that mean it bounces? Like bullet-wise or disc-wise, I guess? Am I just firing hypno-discs at people? And does it bounce like... Well, I suppose it'd be a bit like Equilibrium, I guess. With gun Foo. I think I found everything. And I've irked myself enough looking at Gators and Velociraptors in the same place. So let's keep going. <laughs> Quickly, leave Gator Zone. Oh, Reptile World. Gee, it even, looks like the, it even looks like the entrance to Jurassic Park, to be fair. Reptile World. This is a perfect time to play that really awful opening version of Jurassic Park, where it's just on a really bad kazoo. That old-timer needs help. We'll sneak in and ambush these bastards. How many frogmen? What the hell are you doing? What do you want from me? I assume they want to eat you. Oh, man. There'd be a lot of frogs popping. Help! Somebody help me! Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, interesting that they can just move around like that, then. Back. Hey, I like the that that old man's got moxie. I'll give him that. Right, stack up, and then oh, there's a frogman up there as well. Frogman Jones, living the high life up there. Right, rock and roll time. Red indicates positions that are flanked by enemies. Yeah, stars indicate that covers can be destroyed by things like shotguns and explosives. Good to know. I assume there's nothing to explode. So if I switch to gonna swap weapon. Bouncer weapons. Bouncer type weapons can bounce off environment. Oh wow. These weapons also gain a higher crit chance shot percentage based on the amount of bounces the projectile makes. This comes at a cost of accuracy. So I choose where this fires, and it does some crazy ricochet shit. Oh my god, that's so cool. But it's not really gonna work here. Can I just... Will I just kill this one outright? Yeah, let's just let's just kill one outright, and then we'll try out the bouncy mechanics in a second. Surprise, asshole! You like surprises? That goose is cooked. Basically, donkey punching him with bullets. Right. That's not great. You could kill that one outright. You could kill that. 82, 89. I'm gonna take the 82. So far, so good. We haven't had a big whiff yet. And he got Rage. I still don't know what Rage does, but I guess we'll find that out soon. I'm assuming a Skull Crusher is a melee cat. Well, that bit... That basically confirmed that. Um, thanks for telling me my biggest fear. Okay, so, yes. The Skull Crushers, unsurprisingly, crush your skull. Now, I changed the bindings to moving and cat... Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. The wheel was a bit wanky, if I'm quite honest. So, how would I access me bag? Can I just go into, like... I can't press C. I'll have to figure it out in a second. There's definitely a way. Okay. Full cover Elvis, pretty please. And then just blast, blast the Skull Crusher with everything you've got. Payback's a bitch. Critical kill, double XP. AP restored. Does that mean I can shoot again? Ah, oh, sick. All right, I'm into it. The frogs are talking. The frogs have personalities. Well, that's not creepy at all. Uh, okay. I assume there's no melee ability. That tadpole scout is also flanking the Christ out of me. So let me do him a return favor. 40%, really. Eesh. I can move there, but it's going to flank me completely. You can't kill it there. What's that? 64%. It's got to be a good... 56 is also not great. What if I swap weapons? Can I do some crazy bouncing mechanics, maybe? Oh, hello. Hang on. Wait, can I technically bounce it off the fireplace and kill him like that? 
Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to try this. Can't even bite, can you? Move that. Scum sucking coward. So that's a 50%, but if I bounce it off the fire, it's a 90% to hit him and kill him. I'm doing it. Who's the big man? I am. He gets rage as well. Okay, so it's a general thing. It's not just an Elvis thing. It's a general thing. That's definitely a double move if I've ever seen one. I assume I've got to reload this bad boy. And now can I bounce it again? Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. What is... Hang on. Was that a trick shot and a half? I'm doing it. Trick shot. My tears and rain. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, man. The bouncer. What a gun. And now I can just go seal the deal. And then I'm going to heal Elvis after this. Bye-bye. Suck it. Okay, let me go to the inventory quickly and I will heal. Although, yeah, it does say it can be thrown during combat area effects or used outside during the backpack screen, but yeah, I don't know. There we go. I still need to figure out. I feel like I'm just being stupid. I genuinely just feel like I'm being stupid. Like, it says it can be thrown, but how would one throw it? Nothing to nothing to worry about now. Let's go. Let's go talk to the old man, who uh, fended himself off with a torch. Although I guess <laughs> I can't believe I bounced a ripper, basically a ripper blade, off a fireplace. Just a fire in the middle of nowhere. I'm not complaining. I'm very impressed. He has saved my life. Hey, you're Bamati's boy, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, safer. Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? That's what everyone tells me. Without her magic, don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. As sure as night turns to day, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and medipod inside. Hmm. Guess you're saving our lives. <laughs> Much obliged, old timer. I love how all these... Oh, uh, we had to unlock it, right? I love how all these random people are just like, you want a frag grenade? I'll give you a frag grenade. And I'm like, yeah, give me more frag grenades. Great, so the backpack contains all consumables you've found. You can also access and use healing items from the backpack. Yep. Okay, so I wasn't going crazy. It's just that I hadn't unlocked that part yet. Don't you worry about me. Just get my breath back. He reminds me of, um... Oh, what was his name? He reminds me of Dizzy from Gears of War. Maybe, maybe, maybe because Dizzy was just a cowboy in a post-apocalyptic world. But Dizzy was cool. Wait, was that? <gasps> Friend! Oh, it's gone. Also, it definitely would not be my friend if it came onto the land. It would destroy me. But at least we saw one. We saw one alligator. And it was a big alligator. I assume they've probably also mutated slightly. Probably become more like the alligators of like the prehistoric world. Which is very thing to say that we're in a current, like, I guess it's a theme park? Um, about more prehistoric stuff. Now it's more, now they're just like their old selves. Diggs, do me a favor, slap that along the floor. Thank you. That didn't really make much of a difference, is it? I could just walk through the door. But it's fun to break stuff. As I was once told in that one song long ago. Uh, God, this place is massive. Great. What's that? Archive net data. Mike and Sandy Graham proudly stand in the mouth of their family business, Gator Zone. They took the once floundering local attraction and turned it into a booming business. The Grahams believe their good fortune is a direct result of the great stability that gives people more time to spend on the things they love. Local wildlife has also returned to the area. Look at those pelicans fly. We hope you make a return visit to this family favorite, Gator Zone. I hope they got like the guy that does those amazing like credits YouTube videos where he does like in a world. That guy. For Gator Zone. Only just to say Gator Zone. Once again, I think I've said it about 30 times in this one episode. More plastic. Perfect. Is there an in internal map? There's still, there isn't. I wouldn't mind, like, an over, like a, 
area map, as well as an overarching map. I wouldn't mind, like, an area map as well, but it's not the end of the world. Can I get in there? Is that a uh, keypad? Okay. I'm going to assume I can probably find the code somewhere. What is that? Oh, RE, the new keypad. The new keypad works perfectly. Thanks for getting it installed. We should really get rid of at least dispose of the old pad. It won't be long before a curious visitor works out the sequence. So, I'm guessing there's a way to work out the sequence. Oh, that is cool. Oh, man, I feel like I'm 10 again. Man. Going to, like, actual dinosaur museums in real life is really cool. Like, if you haven't been to one, thoroughly recommend it. And yeah, so, yeah the Na National History Museum is a good show. Although I haven't been in, like, 10 years, so I don't know if it's still the same. But I imagine it's still kind of similar. Okay, so that's the right way with the... Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops. I'm going to have a quick gander over here. I want to see what all this is. Dinosaurs. America was forged with their blood. Not just America. The whole world. All of Pangaea. Or Pangaea, however you want to pronounce it. What's that? Oh, another frag grenade. Don't mind, I've now got three frag grenades. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do a bit of running. Let's do a bit of running. So it says I, I can figure out the key card. There isn't upstairs to this area as well. I just need to find the way to get up. I assume... Ah, there's a route there. Let me just climb up there quickly. Because that's where one of the first frogmen were before we absolutely eviscerated him. Oh, there's also some explosive barrels there. That could have been useful. What's that? Plastic... Uh, is there anything else up here? Is that it? Okay, that's it. I don't think you can get up there. I don't think there's anything up there either, so that's fine. Plus, if we miss anything, it's not the end of the world. We probably can revisit these areas, like like I say. Okay, let's have a look at this key keypad. Uh, I mean, it's just three numbers, right? <laughs> that would have been way too easy. I assume there's got to be a way to do it. I assume it's not on the thing either. I, it's, it'll be just like randomly, right? Okay, I had a quick look at the codexes just to make sure I wasn't being stupid, but I didn't see anything like number based or like a hint to be like the numbers. I haven't seen like the numbers for the keypad like pissed on the floor or on the wall anywhere for like permanently all to see. So I assume it's probably going to appear in the next area and then I'll have to quickly mosey back, which is fine. This is cool though. Poke Apocalyptic Dino World. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't have to fight. Do I have to fight one of those? I might have to. God damn. There's no end to these bastards. We got to take them down. Hold on now. I see a torque jammer. We can't fix your glove without it. Good eyes. Ah, time to shine, little brother. How many frogs are they? Okay, something's gone a bit... Show hang on. Faces. Hang on, hang on. Something's on a bit strange here. I couldn't move with... For some reason, I couldn't move with digs. I could only put him into cover. Very strange. But at least it unbugged out, which is good. You guys got phones? Oh, no. They're croaking like frogs. I don't know why my first thought went to phones. <laughs> Very silly of me. Oh, God. Hello. Tadpole Scout. Tadpole Skull Crusher. I assume he's a big Gorge the Great. After falling into Tragul's bad graces, the self-titled Gorge the Grace, Great has been given the lowly job of training tadpoles in a relatively safe spot, a task which he bitterly resents. He secretly prays that they'll fall victim to the gators so he can leave. How very rude of you, Gorge. Not George. Gorge the Great. Spawns additional tribe members to join the battle can leap up one level without the need of ladders. Damn his froggy legs. I better kill him fast than if he can bring friends. He should be the first one to kill. I suppose it's good to grenade the bastard. Let me just have a look around. Can I get upstairs and then just utilize higher ground, maybe? Can I also hit two people with the bouncer? I assume I might be able to. It'd be kind of cool if I did. God, I've got 580 pounds of plastic. I could probably, like, pick a few people off, like, by themselves as well, but there are quite a few of them. Skull Crusher shouldn't be a problem. We can kill that one pretty quickly. It's only got 50 health. So we can kill that one in one shot, more or less. The Gorge has got... How much have you got? 160. He's probably going to spawn more people, isn't he? Taking a little look-see. 
Is it full cover because I'm technically behind the gator? It is not full cover because I'm technically behind the gator. Not cool, bro. Okay. Ambush time. They don't know we're here yet. I could technically go out of ambush if I wanted to, but... Let me have a quick look at the uh, the backpack. So, energy cell and then frag grenade. How much damage does a frag grenade do? It does 50. Okay, so I can straight up kill that one. There's not really much point using it yet, though. Okay, so escaping doesn't quite work there. How the hell do I get out of here? Right click? Oh, this isn't... Okay, yes, right click does it. I was a bit worried that it was just going to take me out completely then. So I can kill that one fully. Oh, he's so close to that. I might wait. I might wait until... Can I come out of ambush mode? Oh, yes. Okay, so the way to get out of ambush mode, really, is to just basically walk away for a bit, more or less. Which isn't... Riding point. Perfect, but it's fine. It does the job. Right, what I want to do is... I want to get our boys pretty close. So he's next to the explosive, which he is right now. So let's do it. Rock and roll time. All right, Elvis, blast the skull crusher. See you never, nerds. Diggs, shoot that. Frogs legs, anyone? Now that tactical scout might be able to flank us, so I might just use. Gorge is going to bring some mates, I'm assuming. How many mates does he get? Two. Oh, God. Look how they, like, hop. That's not supposed... There's going to be... There's going to be a lot of frog puns. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of frog puns. Uh, now. You're kind of flanking us. How much... How far can I throw a grenade? You can throw it relatively far. Okay, lob it. Time to pray. Uh oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, you saw that, right? El Elvis is enraged. I'm not entirely sure what enraged does yet, but I assume it's something very cool. Raging shot. Okay, cool. And then there's Overwatch as well. So it looks like I've still got the ability to move out or shoot. 20%, 44%. Well, let's hold on you for a second, as I want to get some flanking done here. And hopefully that'll force Big Gorge the Frog to uh, make a move further away. 110, okay. I assume it just does more damage, generally speaking. Oh, it crits higher. It looks like it crits higher, more than anything. Although you are not in a great position uh, for it. Like, I've only got one AP. So what I probably will actually do is, I'm going to overwatch this bad boy, and hope that that actually goes into the overwatch. I don't know if it will. If it does, though, great. Okay. He shot me in the shoulder blade. When your heroes kill enemies in combat, they generate rage. When a rage bar is full, the hero's next chance will get a 100% chance to crit, crit chance. Any value above 100 can convert to extra bonus damage. Right. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. You just get shot with a bow and arrow, though, so uh, let's be a little bit careful on that. So if I shoot now, 99% to hit, 115% to crit. Yeah, he's straight up dead, man. And then we get another AP for it. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. 43% is not great, but you know what? I'm going to take it. Roll the dice, baby. And that's why you roll the dice, baby. Right, Diggs, what have you got for me? So if you swap weapons to the tactical disc, can you bounce it off there and kill the bastards? There was a... That's a very crazy shot, and it's only 30%. That's 70%. I think we just go in for the regular shot for now whilst I have ammo. Only 42, so let's make a move. I don't think I can move very far, though. There's 100% there, and I get full cover, so let's go there. Not feeling the squeeze of the whole getting shot too much in tactical yet. 
So I'm gonna see, I'm probably gonna like do the first three episodes in the um, difficulty that we've done it in. And if I still feel like things are going a little bit too easy, I might then amp it up to the next one. But let me know what you think about that. Blast him. Should have stayed home, Gorge. You gonna scream for so some more mates? Oh, have you got your Billy No Mates? Oh, Billy No Mates. Look at him. Poor Frogman. Poor little Frogman. Right, let's go finish him off then. Let's have a little bit less conversation, a little more action, please. That's the only L this reference I'm gonna make. Yeah, barely. You? Shit, I can do this all week. Diggs is loving it. Grab this thing and go home, okay? So what's this? Loot is only visible while exploring in real time. Make sure to search for battlefields. I will. Well, slap me sideways. Increase weapon crit damage by 20. Mod from a controversial Val E weapons tech foundation for the socially advantaged. According to the label, this adds hardened tungsten rounds that will drop a bull elephant in one shot. What the hell is an elephant, by the way? Oh no, don't tell me the elephants are dead. Oh, I just quite like elephants. Well, let's give that, since we've got the scope on Elvis, let's give that to Diggs instead. Although, can you, get, can you put that on the tactical disc? Doesn't seem like it. From what I can tell. Oh, can you modify it? You can modify that. That's dirty. 80% critical damage. That's dirty. All right, done. We didn't level up, did we? We're pretty close to leveling up. How is your health? I think I'm okay for the time being. God, there is alligators literally everywhere. I don't know why I'm surprised. It's called Gator Zone for a reason. Let me have a quick deek around the zone. There is an exit over there, so I assume we're going to be going out here at some point. Someone locked the gate to Old Town Road. And probably for the best. I'm sure we'll be going there at some point. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm going to imagine there is an area where the key code is for that lock as well. Oh, it's like a roller coaster? I suppose it's a ride around the theme park, I guess. Hop down. Whoop. Oh, there is a ladder. Huh. We could have used the ladder. Nah. You must be this tall to ride. Looks like you're sitting this one out, Elvis. <laughs> I've never heard such bullshit in my life. How dare you? Yeah, I know that's there, but I'm just I'm looking around before I grab it. Nothing there. This looks like it's gonna be a dead end here. So it's really only the snake bites place that's accessible. That's also completely screwed from what I can imagine. Yep, that's completely screwed. So really, I think it's just this building. Which I think we kind of rooted around before we even got into combat. Yeah, we did. I don't know if there's a way up top. I mean, it's a slanted roof, so I don't think so. Okay, I think we've... I think we found everything. Oh, we can get up on that roof as well. Let me grab this thing. Takes you right. Torque jammer. A torque jammer. Demands Seen, respect. It'll do. Let's get back to Bertha. Not just for the fact it will twist your thumbs clean off if incorrectly calibrated, but also for its overall visual appeal. Hmm, we are here for the aesthetic after all. Uh, let's get up on that roof quickly, see if there's anything there, but I don't think I saw anything. But, gotta check everything in these sort of games, you never know. You can fast travel at any time to any unlocked location from the map, that's actually quite handy. Well, I think I've got everything that I need, so you don't actually need to go to like the edge of the map to go and do it this time. That's cool. I feel like we've missed something then with the uh, the key card code. I feel like I'm just gonna have a quick run around and see if I can just like spot the obvious. Okay, so I've been staring at this keypad for a while, just trying to just slap in random three-digit codes for about five minutes, and I think I finally cracked it as to how to figure out what the code is. And I think it's actually to do with these lights here. So you notice that they're blinking, but they're blinking for a specific amount of times. So this one will blink, hang on, twice. This will blink one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, six, one, two, three, four. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so the clue wasn't in the area, which I did run around for a bit. The clue was actually on the key card itself. So we've got to keep an eye out for that sort of uh, puzzle. I'm here for it. What's that? Today's my lucky day. Vintage Recola. 
The originals stored valuable drinks and other preserved foods in basements beneath their homes. They believed that aging the liquid inside each bottle would raise them to the upper echelons of society. This bottle of fine cola has been unopened since its creation in 2029. Okay, so if we're at least 140 years in front of that, then we're talking at least, what, 2170? I don't know, it's probably, we're probably pushing like 23rd century. I would say. It could be even longer than that. Ooh, what's in the chest? What's in the box? This is worth something. The Negotiator Shotgun. The Negotiator makes the point, was Dilla Knox's corporation's promotional tagline. Legend has it that a disgruntled senior executive at a company took this quote quite richly during a fatal boardroom meeting. Wow, all right. Robocop, anyone? Well, I guess I will give that to one of our boys, since Diggs has already got the bouncer. I suppose I'll give this one to Elvis. I don't think it makes a massive difference as to who to give it to at the end of the day. I don't think anyone... Well, they might spec into other, other guns through their skill decks, I might imagine. Perhaps. Like, he's got some frag grenade stuff going on there. So I guess we'll see if it does have any difference for that. Also, funnily enough, I noticed in the codexes, I've been talking and, like, speaking from out this entire time. The new keypad works. They've all got audio. They've all got audio. Well, except the, like, the torn things. But ones that look like this and this, I can display the audio. <sighs> anyway, it's fine. I don't mind speaking. I speak a lot. I'll have you know. And you will know that. Right, grab the plastic. I think that's everything that we can find here. If I click on the map now, it'll tell me if I found treasure. So I found treasure, which was the recaller. Uh, there was no treasure at the Miyazawa wall, and there's one treasure out of a sedentary, which was definitely that weird joystick. So let's now head on back to sedentary, because I think I've found everything at Gator Zone. Uh, can I just travel? Fast travel, yep. Done. Does it drift us out at the... Yes, it does. Nice one. Good, little bro. Like I always say, he who dares, wit, wit, wit. Thanks, Diggs. You're skipping again. Also, you sound like Del Boy. Is, oh, <laughs> is Del Boy programmed into you? Sure did. She must be blind then. Nope. I got a good thing with that girl. Okay, so I don't think this thing's like ever changing. There's nothing like constantly going. Oh, let's say that. Who's in here now? Pet McCaffrey. Who are you? Still using those Pete McCaffrey. Rifles? You do know what end the bullets come out, right? Yeah, Pete, we do. But it doesn't matter when your prey is bulletproof. Tougher prey demands a tougher brand of firepower. You boys need to upgrade. Maybe you can find some new guns out there. The Badlands always... The man's hat is weird. If you watch his hat compared to the rest of his body, it's very... It's a little odd. Ah, America. It's a special <laughs> country. You and Diggs should get out there. We've been out there. It's got a life of its own. Die, so we came back here. Uh, know what? I thought I was gonna be the first McCaffrey to get out of this town. But nope. I'm gonna be buried in the backyard next to six oh, generations of McCaffreys who never got out. Never changed their stars. Don't be me, Elvis. See America. Well, thank you very much. I did it! I did it again! And my rifle a dozen times over. Guns need upgrades. Not disagreeing with you, but who's got the time? Come on, man! You're the rock and roll mechanic, right? This is up your alley. Find upgrades at Bertha's or in the American Badlands. Either way, you'll thank me. Yeah, it's probably gonna get pretty nuts out there, and it's gonna anti up very quickly. As you know, gangsters are running America. They're called the first family. Powerful wow. a-holes. Rich beyond dreams. No mind about the red herring. <laughs> but they've been sloppy. Dropping their tech all over the Badlands. Leaving behind choice weapons, too. No thanks. I'll stick to the weapons I know. Okay, I know you're tough with your killer robot and all. But get yourself a family gun. Plastic casing. Maglev beamers. Woo! Baby, the whole nine. I assume it's like a serious upgrade to what we've already got. Stay so. strong. Thanks, Pete. I guess I can't upgrade stuff whilst I'm here, no? Mm, no. Okay, that's fine. Still looks like this place is getting built, even though it's been here forever, but I suppose it's a mining town that's ever growing. Is that a way out? Is that another exit, maybe, to somewhere else? Looks like it. It was an accident. Oh. I didn't mean to blast Bertha's car. 
Yeah, yeah, your glove misfired, I know. Wow, that is destroyed. Straight up. So I can go through here. Miasma activity low, so that is a way way to go. Could go check that out in a bit. Let's go gone. bring this over to her. And then we're going to nip into the sheriffs, because I don't think we talked to the sheriff yet. Badass alert. Look who's walking in here. Can I talk to the these guys? No, no talking to the criminals. Frank Zebedee, what a name. Elvis, who are you, man? Uh, who am I? Yeah, skinny little you, kicking froggy ass. News travels fast. You in the hero business now? Uh, no, I'm... I'm a mechanic. Bitch, please. I throw a dog jam in the air, I hit a mechanic. What I need is a warrior. Funny, we just found the one. The mayor asked me to hire some deputies. You in? Um, didn't you arrest this guy quite recently? Listen, Frank, we're... This is my house. You call me Sheriff in my house. Sheriff, the mayor didn't say anything about deputies. Sure, you're too busy trying to get through a wall you're never going to get through. Rose. Until then, your town needs you. Do you need your town? I guess. I'll take that as a yes. You are hereby deputized. That was easy. Great. W what do I do? I know how to fight men, not monsters. No one knows where these things came from. A pond? They're not laying eggs on everything. They're praying to the miasma like a god. They ripped through Pikeville. Turned Fort Mitchell into a ghost town. That's not going to happen here. Let me guess. We're probably going to go to those two places at some point. Maybe. Look out for each other. All right? Now get. So now I'm a deputy, apparently. Deputy Elvis. I don't really... See what's going on with the rest of... What's this? Food percentages. Okay, well, I'm going to let it play this time. The first family thanks you for your continued support and hard work. We're pleased to announce we have linked your facility's quota and yield percentages to our deliveries of grey, green, and brown nutrition packs. We hope this incentive ensures a timely and satisfactory delivery each month. Gwendol Zen supports this message. Hmm. Sounds once again sketchy, but it is the first family. If they're the... I assume it doesn't matter after the first family, there's no such thing as, like, the second family, or whatever. We didn't actually go into here, we actually just walked past it and just went, haha, wheeze, and then walked off. Hey, come so here. let me have a quick gander around here. Atty. Did I say you can play in my miasma? It's your miasma? Oh, mine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I couldn't keep you out of it if I tried. You want some herbs? Trying to quit, Hattie, so I can focus. But, thanks. Mm, oh, I was half joking. So much of your mama and you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask about the herbs. The myasma and spices. produces some breathtaking plant life. If you see any unusual plants on your wanders, bring them to me, Yes. Don't have time to smell the flowers out there, Hattie. Fear keeps us moving. Mm. Fear is hope upside down. Fear is hope doing a handstand. You say some weird shit sometimes. I'm the town crazy lady. What do you want me to say? Fair enough. Wisdom is obtained by listening to the miasma. Do you know how it got here? The miasma? No one knows. I do. No heroes. No heroes? Without heroes, America drowned in poison. The poison impregnated Mother Earth. She gave birth to a demon child. The miasma. She hates us for what we did to her. Mother Earth hates us? Oh, yes. Don't take it personal. Turn your frown upside down, like I do. <laughs> now must stay. I'm surprised that survived, like, whatever, several hundred years of carnage. Okay, so she's under the impression that the miasma is, like, the Earth's defense mechanism to purge civilization and start again, I would suppose. Although it has also accidentally created Frogman. So, maybe a byproduct? Who knows? Guess we'll find out. I remember your mama, Ba Madi. She was strong, with kind eyes. 
Like your eyes. She saved this town from many a disaster. But she carried secrets. Yeah, a lot of secrets. Like why she left me. Mm, she's your mama. And mamas don't have to tell their sons anything. But she knew who you I, were I don't particularly to be. agree with that, but okay. Please, find her. Bring her back to us. She can restore this town and save us all. Namaste. Namaste. Somehow I do not see it going that see well. Ya. Something awful is going to happen. Now, is there anything actually in here or is it just drugs? Is it just herbs and drugs? Oh, hello. What's this? The Ritual of Wood. God. Caleb Flammer, bartender. Issue? Lack of intimacy with his ex-wife due oh. to increase oh, it's Viagra. <laughs> prescription. To get things moving again with the ex-wife, Caleb will need to spread the pollen of a moonflower over a sacred grove, otherwise known as the Ritual of Wood. But this ritual is far too dangerous for Caleb. Who can I get to do it? Wow. Cool. So they're just making post-apocalyptic Viagra medicine. Fair enough. It's a cause to, to go for. Right. Let's go return this already instead of just getting high. Roll whatever you wanted, Bertha. Here you go. Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like we promised. There were no hey, frog hey. monsters. Took you a while. Except. Thought somebody killed you, boys. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. Another robo arm. There's a lot, of, a lot of robo arms kicking about. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Nice. All right. New ability, maybe, or something. Rock and roll. Say, where'd you get that glove? My mama gave it to me. Wanna sell it? Not in a hundred lifetimes. Thanks, Bertha. Thank you right back. Store's open to you boys anytime. We fixed the glove, plus we can buy and sell stuff again. Let's tell the mayor. Okay, so what can I buy at... Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. Let me have a look, well, look at her store. To grace us with their presence. So she has weapons as well. Snipers. More snipers. Shotguns. Wow, and I thought I had loads of plastic. Turns out I do not have loads of plastic. You want to shoot more? More shoot scopes. Farther, all that good stuff? Ultimeter has 10% chance weapon. to shoot from high ground. Energy game mods adds five rage per hit. Crit rounds, damage rounds. God, there's like there's quite a lot of stuff here. Glass bottle, sadly minus its content. Knockers. Oh, they're like knockback and napalm death cans. Okay, and then we can just we can also sell stuff as well, which I don't think I probably will for the time being. Uh, as one tile when moving, two when sprinting. Nah, I think I'll keep everything that I've got for now. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll buy or sell anything Later. just yet. You received a power core. Power cores grant different gameplay bonuses for you to mix and match. You can edit your power cores from the C party screen. Let me have a deek. We got the power cores. We've got the Octarine. Agilitizer. After a class action lawsuit regarding alleged exploding hearts, hmm, the Blue Cow Corporation jumped from energy drinks to military tech. This core injects blue octarine or octopus testosterone directly into the user's bloodstream or lubrication flow, granting increased mobility on the battlefield. Sounds dangerous, but I'm in. Give me your octopus testosterone, please. I'll take all of it. Into my nervous system, apparently. Right, cool. So that's in there. Let's have a look at the skill decks very quickly. So, we've got, I assume this means it costs three, which is why we can't access it. So, I can upgrade his hit, hit points, and I can also do armory a shot, which might not be a bad idea to say we're probably going to be coming up to some armored enemies down the line. So, I'm actually going to go for armory to just in case, because I feel like, I feel like it might be cropping up sooner rather than later. As for digs, I might just increase his health, although I do like big bro. Hmm. I'm going to increase his health for now. I'm going to make him a bit more tankier. I don't know if when he becomes cover he just takes damage. Because if he takes damage when he's full cover, then I want him to have more health to be able to become better cover. So there we go. That's that done. Right. Let's quickly run on back to the old... Where's he gone? There you go. Dream. Let's get back to the mayor. Hmm. Do I want to? Let's see. Collection day's coming. Hate these first family bastards. 
Well, to survive, the town had to make a deal with the devil. Well, these devils are squeezing the town dry. Wish I could do something about it. Oh, I'm sure it'll crop up down the line somewhere. So it's not only an effigy, but this is where we put all the cargo to give to them as like, oh man, that's not, that's a lot of shit. Oh, I guess we're right. Back to, back to head in a jar, man. And we'll see what he has to say. Can we climb up here? I don't think there's anything up there to look into anywhere. I can't see anything flashing. Sup, Mason? What about those numbers, eh? Got that glove working, boy? It's working, mate. You're not a second too soon. Gator Zone's crawling with monsters. Why the hell were you in Gator Zone? This brainless pot dragon? Uh, brains is all you got, Jarhead. <laughs> Elvis, I hit the jackpot. Found an encrypted file in your mama's data drive. It's all about increasing your glove's power. Hell yeah. What's it say? Well, that's the problem. I can't understand a goddamn lick of it. Read this. To heal the miasma and pay our debts, absorb the anger of a wild vortex. In return, the miasma gives an editor a reward. Power for your glove and balance restored. Some kind of riddle. You know what she means? I think we do. Heal the miasma. Editor, I don't get it. Me neither. What's a vortex? Damn it. Trying to figure out my asthma's like punching a tornado. Tornado. Hold on. Near the wall. There we go. We saw some angry miasma. Yeah, swirling around. Like a vortex. The glove was pulling me to it like it wanted to grab it. Maybe it did. You should go investigate. Could be the key to everything. But the frogs are out there too. Could be dangerous. Want to see danger? You looking at him, old man? Elvis, clock's ticking. Let's go. Yeah, cool. We got this, Mayor. Godspeed. I'll keep digging through these files for more clues. Nice one. Great. So, we know exactly where we're going. We saw it as we walked past in episode one. So, that'll be the place to be. There is also that other exit as well, which I think... If we're here in sedentary, the miasma wall was where that weird tornado was. But it was also, there was one exit down to the mines, I assume. And then there was another exit going somewhere else. So I might also check that out before we go to the miasma wall. But if I walk there, there's like level 20 enemies. And obviously we're going to turn around and come back. But I am going to leave it there for this episode. Like I say, I'm going to keep it around an hour. We did manage to get and deal with Gator Zone, and then come back and give them the talk jammer, and now we have effectively restarted our glove. Next turn, next time, we will be going to go punch a tornado, I guess, and absorbing its powers for everything that we need. But for the time being, I will leave it there. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than there that you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you know the next time we're going out with Elvis and Diggs in Miasma Chronicles, as well as the Wankers in Battle Brothers. If you can't wait till then, feel free to join the Discord. It's linked in the description below and on the channel itself. Come talk to us Northerners. We are a jolly bunch. And feel free to support the North even further by buying us cuppa on coffee and giving me the caffeine I need to get through my editing process. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.